Hey guys, today we're uh, here at Poseville Cemetery, also known as Ingersoll Cemetery in Midland County, Michigan. And uh, came out here, I uh, wanted to fulfill some find a grave photo requests that I tried to actually fulfill in the winter time, but it's no wonder I couldn't find them because a lot of the uh, markers were ground level markers that were covered in snow. So I uh, came out here today to do that and while I was walking around found a couple of veteran grave markers that really need some attention. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna clean up a few veteran grave markers. The first one's right here. World War I veteran and uh, when you see it you'll understand why it needs some attention. You can, uh, well, once I get it adjusted just right, you can see that uh, there's a deep set black mold all over this and the black mold has begun to trap dirt and a little bit of lichen starts growing then the lichen traps more dirt and then you get this moss. See how hard that is to get out of there? That's some good pressure with my finger there and I'm barely getting it. But uh, we'll be able to do a lot for this stone. We'll uh, wet it down and give it a good scrubbing and a lot of that moss will come out and then uh, we'll clean it with D2. We'll see the final product. So. Clyde O. Roberson, Michigan, Private First Class, Company G, 39th Infantry, World War I. Born December 12th, 1894, died January 8th, 1969. We'll uh, do this man some good and uh, actually that looks like it says 339th. <laughs> infantry and uh, we'll get his headstone clean and uh, looking good again and uh, give him the honor he deserves so we'll uh, get the tripod set up here a little bit higher get a good view and uh, get to work on it okay let's get started first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this dirt off of this foundation. That could be the cause of a lot of this when you have dirt built up like this around the stone. The stone gets just a little wet and then the wind blows and it catches a lot of that sand. This cemetery is up on a nice sand ridge right along the road. It's actually pretty peaceful here when the cars aren't driving by. Okay, now that we got that taken care of, we will uh, get to work on this. take a before photo because I forgot to do it. There. Okay, now splash a little water on there. Got a little light rain that started just before I got here actually kind of makes it bearable because it was pretty warm out this morning. A 
Look how thick that growth is on there. I sit there and try to work on one spot and it's just thicker than thick. A lot of that moss. All it takes is a little bit of moisture and then some scrubbing and it pops right out of there. Some of it doesn't though. Okay. Well, we've removed all the loose stuff that's gonna come off right away. <laughs> Look at that. World of difference already. Now, come in with the D2. And we'll let that sit for a few minutes. That'll loosen up some of that moss, hopefully. Come back in about 15 minutes and we'll clean it up. Okay, so we gave the D2 a little bit of time to set. And uh, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but I can see that this stuff is starting to uh, lift already. So this should, uh, should do a pretty good job for us. Uh. Still got some of this moss that's hanging in there. I think that will start to uh, release itself. Sometimes you can go in there with a little piece of wood and get it to release itself a little bit easier. I have to go get a piece of a paint stir stick and get in there and work on those. But we'll spray a little more D2 on it, let it sit. I'll go get a piece of stir stick and I'll uh, work those uh, letters clean a little bit and, uh, and then we'll do the same thing again. Should be looking pretty good by the time we leave. Okay. So I sprayed some D2 on this and went over the truck. I like to keep paint stir sticks in my truck because you can split them and you can, if you got a knife on you, you can whittle it down so it's a little pointier on the one end and it's great for getting in and doing detail work on these letters it's a soft material so you don't have to worry about doing any damage you can get these for free at the paint store so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on them if you uh, go to Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware and buy paint you just grab a couple extras and Throw them in your cemetery kit. They work pretty good.
And as you can see, they work really good on all different letters and numbers. They're the ideal thickness for uh, these letters because they fit right in there all the way to the bottom. Sometimes that moss just needs a little extra muscle to get out of there. Okay, I think we got all the moss out of everything. That D2 has been sitting on there for another 10 minutes or so. Get the brush and get some more brush. I'll rinse the brush out since it's still got a bunch of crud on it from the last scrub job. Okay, well I don't, I don't think we got it all, but it's uh, going to be pretty darn close to being clean here. There we go. Now, you can see this stripe right here. Kind of wondering if that's rust. It looks, looks like rust. I've got some rust remover in the truck. I'm gonna put some on here, just test a little spot and see if it works. If it does, then we'll work on that whole stripe. So, I'll be right back. Okay, if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I did a video on this uh, Bellinzoni rust remover. It's a good product. I think it, it really does work. Um, the videos that I saw for it showed it working a lot more or a lot better than what I've seen, but uh, I've used it a few times now and I did actually use it this morning and uh, had some pretty good results on it. I kind of think maybe uh, when I did the review video on it um i may have it may have been too cold out the weather may have been just slightly too cold so put a nice thick layer of it on there and uh, just let it sit and if that is rust this will start to turn purple and i can already see it starting to turn a little bit it's starting to get a little bit darker so i think that is a rust stripe that is across there so uh we'll leave that on there I think I'm going to leave it for probably about a half hour. I'm going to go and uh, look at some other headstones in here, some other veterans that are close by, and, and probably do some cleaning on those. And uh, then we'll come back and see how this did. I can tell already, and maybe you can in the video there, uh, see that it's starting to get a little bit darker in that spot. Maybe not. That will turn like a, a purple, purplish black almost actually. So we'll uh, leave that on there for a little bit, see what it does. All right, well, as you can see, it uh, started to turn that dark purple color and uh, looks like it pulled a lot of rust out of this stone. There was little spot here and after I saw this start to turn color I added all the way down to the corner where the stripe starts and uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll rinse this off 
spray it down with some D2 and leave it for Mother Nature to do the rest of the work for us. The rain and the wind and stuff will continue to remove the dead that fall or that leaches up out of the stone and uh, this thing will be looking really good here in a couple of weeks. So let's get it rinsed off. We'll spray the D2 and that'll be it. Sometimes you gotta brush this a little bit. So you can still see that stripe there a little bit. That's about as good as it's gonna get uh, for now. But I did notice the other day the stone that I did the video on before was looking a lot better it had lightened up quite a bit so I think that that will uh, start to improve even after we've removed the uh, rust eater so we'll uh, some d2 all over this thing got some rainy weather here for the next couple of days that'll keep a nice and wet it'll keep that d2 active on there and uh that thing will be looking good in no time so, awesome i think i got a couple more stones here i'm going to clean and uh then i'm going to head out i'd like to thank everybody for coming along if uh you made it to this part of the video if you would please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already Share it with all your friends. We can keep on doing stuff like this. If you want to see more rust removal videos, leave me a comment in the comment section that you want to see more rust removal. And I'll try to work them in as I can.